Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Well, I want to talk to you about, um, see, I want to talk to you about the true wisdom, the idea of the true wisdom of God that you probably don't understand because the problem is y'all, you associate God's wisdom with the wisdom of man. You know what I'm saying? And you may, see, in what man say, you consider it as what God said that I see a lot of people do and it's a, a problem is very wrong to do that because if God created the universe come on <laughs> how could you associate you know somebody's you know God's wisdom with men's wisdom there's no way it can be associated and but what men do is they portray a form of godliness concerning, I mean, a form of wisdom that you will label far-fetched for you. But what you're not understanding the system of what Satan is doing is like, you know, he's using all kind of dynamics of, you know, ways in throughout human history to keep man dumb. Now, I, I, I keep telling people this about you ever question why in corner stores they always have uh, like beer and alcohol advertised right at the window? You know what I'm saying? They always have, you know, so many things advertised in front of a corner store. And what you don't realize is, you know, alcohol is a substance that will numb and dumb down our understanding. And that we don't know how to look at it. We will look at things from a lower spectrum. And of course, you know, you make bad judgments in it. Uh, you know, when you have, you're drunk, you know. Um, it's important to understand that because there's so many things that Satan did concerning him, human history to make sure that we will become. Uh, addicted or have an addiction concerning generational curses that we will limit and minimize the way we think and look at things that you know we don't realize to what extent of how we think we think so low as what Paul is talking about the wisdom of men is not greater than the wisdom it's God's foolishness is higher than the wisdom of men and we're not seeing to what extent that reality is, you know, and we need to see that because we need to see how low we are and how we think. We need to see how low, you know, and how we look at things because, you know, I, people don't question their actions concerning their reaction of how they talk about things, you know, and you, you're supposed to and you should do that, you know, question that. You know, I mean, that you, and you, and like people, they argue over little things and minute things, and they will get angry and, you know, put all their energy in something that is not, is temporal, if it's, uh, the earth is temporal. But that is, should question the level of your thinking and how you will engage and emphasize things from an earthly standard. You will argue over something that's temporal. It's just foolishness. But, you know, I'm going to show you a diagram of something that will help you see where you really, how you really think. And the Bible talks about, you know, the knowledge of, that we're not supposed to puff up knowledge. And people don't realize, they call, and I hear people when, you know, I talk, listen to people, they magnify, say, oh, that's wisdom, that's wisdom. I'm like, it's like, it's like uh, you know, no, it sounds, it's puffed up knowledge. <laughs> you know, I hear puffed up knowledge. I don't hear the, 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 you know, the understanding of greater wisdom concerning God. And what we got to understand is this is how, you know, certain people need to look at, you know, wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Now, see how knowledge is connected to the earth. It's an earth low level of thinking now most people that you know think about the things of the world and and magnify the things of the knowledge of the world concerning television radio and whatever and even education yes even education even going to college you may think that you know well oh i yeah because you like geniuses and all that 
See, and intellectual people is still thinking at a knowledge of lower level standard of thinking. But we will consider it as a greater wisdom because it makes sense to us. That's what, you know, drives me nuts about the situation. Because it makes sense to you, you consider it as great wisdom. No, it's not really as great than you think. But... See, but the thing is, people live according to this knowledge right here. And the thing is, God wants us, oh, of course, Jesus Christ put in for uh, Matthew 13, talks about understanding in your heart. That if you do that, you will receive the mysteries of God. And the mysteries of God is based upon His God's wisdom. And God's wisdom is... It's limitless, infinite. It's an infinite wisdom that cannot be measured. And and it's like this diagram. See, God, the wisdom of God, there's no... I, I, I don't have enough paper, you know, to show you. Limitless, just like space. You know what I'm saying? It's no... There's no measure to God's wisdom that we have to understand... When God does things, oh, you're discovering a thing that God has done. But it's a very sprout, you know, vast knowledge. Look how vast God's knowledge is. It's infinite. But look, when we operate in understanding, see, this is where the struggle at for us to really obtain God's wisdom. is uh, like what King David said, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to your own understanding. We we stuck, we get stuck in this understanding here. And it won't compel us to get out to reach out to God's divine, but some people just get stuck here. Now let me show you something, you know, about the cycle that you don't realize that is going on concerning uh, the understand uh, under, how you learn, how you look at things, and how you receive, yeah, how you receive knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Um, see, when people speak about the earth, what happens is, you know, they they have you thinking you don't realize it's going on, but have you thinking like this? You think like this, and it, it, and, and when it when you think like this. Things make sense to you concerning of your level of thinking. And this is what, you know, the Satan and the system of kingdom of darkness concerning the God as well is trying to do. He wants you to think and think that you're thinking something up here. Make sure you think you're thinking something here, but you're really thinking like this. But guess what? You can't see this because you have solidified and made your, uh, uh, say, this is it. You know what I'm saying? I tell people the idea of a, you know, person, a knucklehead, that's a knowledge knucklehead, is they think, this all I know, this all I know, this all I know, this all I know, and this all I need to know. And when we think that this is all we need to know, that happens, you know what I'm saying? We become like this. This is all I know, and this all I know, this all I know, this all I need to know. And I don't need to go up here. I don't need to go up here. I already got it. I already got it. I already got it. And that's what Satan want to keep you in that ego mindset. It's an egotistical mindset to think that you have all the knowledge. You have every all thing together. That you know everything that needs to know. And there's nothing else to know. And that's what state of mind Satan is trying to keep everybody in. And stay there. They don't want. He don't want you in the divine understanding of God. There is no limits, no restraints of learning so much. You know, he doesn't want you there. If you're there, he you will discover. You know how much pop great. First of all, your Creator is, and what in, and you're great and made in the image and the likeness of Him, and how much a greater wisdom you're supposed to operate in, and how much great you are. Then him, just like what you know, John says, greater you will discover greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. You will find out how see Jesus, Satan is the god of this world. Look how small the world is. But when we find out that we're made in the image and the likeness of God, 
and get the greater is he to find out how great that is, we become more as greater than him. Look at the earth. Look at the world. It's too small. But when you understand that you're made in the image and likeness of God, you become greater and you see how great you are than you. Satan is this small because you're seeing from the right and thinking from the right, you know, mind. You know, the mind of Christ that is of the Christ is the God, Son of God. You think in God's mind. And that's what we supposed to aim towards. And that's the aim that, you know, that Jesus Christ put in us to get the wisdom of God and the limitless that we infinity and forever and ever. ever. Now, you notice when you see those uh, uh, letters from Paul and other people and David, you know, you see that, you know, amen forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. See, they were speaking from an infinite language. That's a heavenly language when it's speaking from an infinite language. Uh, wet language, and that's the really the reality of the representation. You know that God is speaking through them because they understand that forever language that we they're listening to a forever God, and that's the infinite wisdom in what we are supposed to operate in if we want to fulfill our divine purpose in our life, and that's what you know this is all about. That I'm trying to show you this teaching about the wisdom of God that we need to understand and and allow King Solomon Proverbs help us out to get there, you know. I mean, everybody has source to God's wisdom. I mean, King Solomon did a great job of giving God's a great ideal of God's wisdom that we can, you know, get get here. But it's a part but we got to start putting it right here in order to get right up here. Because what Jesus said, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind. Get that together, you're on your way up. All right, that's the message. I hope you get the the ideal of the wisdom of God and seek after the wisdom of God and stop. Get out of this stupid circle right here because you're going to be made a fool by the uh, God of this world, Satan, what have you on a lot of foolishness, all right? To God be the glory, Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.